had a couple questions about this uh, reservoir. This is the Alf Pool light tower. So the theory is you can send your return into the top which has this interior cylinder. There's a couple holes cut around the circumference of it so the water spreads out like this effect. It would just be up about an inch higher. Uh, this interior cylinder feeds in from the bottom of the reservoir and goes up the interior cylinder and uh, does this, well, the light tower effect where you have your fluid return. Um, it's, uh, it's not, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. There are a couple of points I would like to make if anyone else is considering doing this. I have a D5 um, pump with a PWM speed control so I can control it from the Azus motherboard. If you do not have speed control of your pump, I would recommend not using this reservoir with an overpowered pump. I have way more pump than I need for this setup. It's just a CPU, single GPU. Got the BIOS and the system pulled up right here, and right now I'm running the pump at 65%. You can see I get a lot of flow. The air bubbles that are generated by the light tower effect are fairly large, and they dissipate fairly quickly back to the top of the cylinder. Um, it's also quiet at 65%. You get slightly better cooling on benchmarks at 75% pump speed, so here's 75% pump speed. So what starts to happen is, number one, it's louder. Uh, the w side of the case is off right now, but you can still hear um, a little bit of like a fountain effect if you're into that kind of thing or you want white noise that's perfect. It sounds like a babbling brook right now. You will notice though that it's starting to generate some smaller diameter air bubbles that are being pulled down. They're not large enough in diameter that their buoyancy is fighting against the pump. And what will happen on these higher speeds is all those little bubbles will find a place to hide like in your radiator or maybe in one of the water blocks on your hardware and they can collect and start to get a larger air bubble trap somewhere in the system. I'll show you here if you have no speed control and you're running your pump at 100%, here's what happens. Again, it's a cool looking effect. It's significantly louder, but you can see all the air this is putting back in your system. Um, it's not, not a great solution. I'm gonna turn that down back to 65. So at 65, I get far less turbulence. Um, I don't see micro bubbles leaving the reservoir going towards the pump. In fact, all the little bubbles will be able to overcome the suction of the pump and make it back to the top of the reservoir where they will naturally go away. The solution to this, which is unfortunate, is you can fill the reservoir higher than the return for the light tower. So you can fill the reservoir up to say here, which is where I've had it for a while because I was running the pump at 85%. Uh, now the closer you get from this point to the top of the light tower, the more bubbles it generates to the point that if you make it level, it's incredibly turbulent. Tons of bubbles, tons of air introduced back into the system. Not great. So you actually have to fill about mm, maybe three or four mils above the light tower. And you still get some sort of effect. The top of the water is very wavy. Um, in fact, this setup, it's actually possible to remove the lid um, while it's all running because of where the lid's at. And, uh, what I'll do here, for the sake of everyone who 
maybe considering this product is I'll start to if you have to run your pump at 100% say you don't have a speed control or you're going to plug it straight to your power supply just let it run I'll put the water level right at the top of the light tower So you still get some sort of effect. You can see even without changing the pump speed, I'm introducing more bubbles. They're, they're large enough that they're gonna dissipate. They're not gonna be pulled out of the pump, but if I even go up to 70%, you notice it starts to get worse. Um, here's 80%. And I can't actually show you 100% because at this point it will kick fluid out the top of the reservoir. So here, real quick, I'll give you 100 here. That pump's going. Look at that. Look at all that air. Slow it back down to 65. So, if you have a pump that you have to run high, your only solution, you can watch and see how long that takes to clear. So if you have to run your pump at 100%, you will need to fill your fluid past the point where the light tower effect is functional. So here's, I don't think it'll splash, but I usually get a lid on when I'm doing this. So here's 100%. So you still get some effect at the top of the liquid. So you can visually see that you know the pump's doing its job and all that. But the whole point of the light tower system, from my point of view, is now defeated because there is no more cool visual effect. So you're kind of stuck between how much air you want to put back in the system versus how fast you want to run your pump. So you're stuck at deciding between pump speed versus how much air to put back in your system, which obviously you don't want any air running through your system at all. So uh, just make sure you get a speed controlled pump if you guys would like to use the light tower effect because um, you're going to differ from motherboard to motherboard and pump to pump, but for me with the D5, uh, I think it's the 655. Anyway, um, the pump that I have, 65% is a ton of flow, I'm ruining the light tower effect with uh, bubbles and whatnot. Or if you want to run it higher than that, 80%, um, or you know even higher is fine as long as you have the water level filled past the light tower effect. So again, make sure you get a speed controlled pump. I don't know if the pumps can do voltage control off of a three pin header, I, I, I don't know. But uh, I have a PWM control pump which takes power straight from a Molex adapter from the power supply and then also has um, a four pin fan header that only has the, the uh, RPM and the PWM wire, the third and fourth wire on it. But that lets me control the pump, um, in my case from the BIOS of the computer. Uh, so yeah, if you want the light tower effect, you need to get, you can't go overboard on your pump or you have to get a speed controlled one or it's gonna make more problems uh, than the visual effect is worth, in my opinion.